Hello. Hold on, I'm gonna clear my throat off the mic. See that? Pro streamer. Nailed it. How's it going? Welcome to Thursday. It's good to see you. Uh, finally a return to Final Fantasy 13. Everybody's favorite Final Fantasy game. I don't think there's any arguing that, that's just plain and simple fact. Is it not? Why can't I hear myself anymore? Did I used to have this, like, really cranked? I don't want it split. I guess we'll just have it halfway. That'll make it easier. Anyway. <clears throat> Hi, hello. I, uh... I was feeling pretty low energy. Um, because I can't fucking sleep. So last night I took a melatonin 10 milligram, which is a whole 7 milligrams more than I'm used to. I've just been dragging ass all day, so. But I got a McDonald's coffee, which is surprisingly not all that bad. I'm starting to perk up a little bit, finally, at 8 o'clock at night. So... <clears throat> So that's good. I figured I would start, since sharing uh, that VHS that I had, uh, the VHS from my childhood last week. Last week? Was it really last? Oh, anyway, last time uh, I shared the Blood, Sweat, and Gears VHS. I put it away already. I figured I'd, I'd share another. Because <clears throat> I actually learned an interesting fact about this one. I don't know if anybody will recognize this. This is The Adventures of Kotetsu. One of my first... Uh, first animes that I ever purchased on VHS for myself. <clears throat> what I learned about this, the Kotetsu VHS, is that this was uh, put out by a company called ADV Films. And this was actually their first release. This was the first one they put out. Now, if you were watching anime in the late 90s, early 2000s, you know ADV Films pretty well. Because they put out tons and tons of stuff. But the most memorable thing about ADV films, in my opinion, is that uh, they had a fucking banger of a theme song. <laughs> and you'll understand here in a moment What a big deal this was. Like, I would take my ADV VHSs, I would always watch the trailers at the beginning because they were, they always had, there were a couple of different versions of it, but this is the one that I always think of. Hold on, let's get this going. So good. Such a good fucking big beat break. Before I knew what the what that even meant. Just a perfect cowbell in there too. Talk. Talk. I missed it that time, but. And look at the editing on this too, just like really quick editing. And then the Neon Genesis Evangelion, which was a huge deal back then, comes in and they 
like actually show you bigger chunks of it and it's like, oh. Do it now. Hell yeah. It was the best. I I fucking loved it. Um They had another ad, maybe this is uh, it's like a different mix of the ADV films Do It Now. Let's see if we can find that one. No, that one's the same. This one, yeah. This, one's, this one goes pretty hard too. Not quite as hard in my opinion. But if I ever play, like, a break set, this is gonna be in it. I don't know why this isn't just, like, constantly in part of my rotation. It's 140 BPM, I can drop it during a dubstep set. Maybe this is just the same song, but, like, the full length version. I don't even know if I've ever heard this. DJ Chido. Oh, hell yeah. That build up is good. It's a killer. Track fucking bangs. We're gonna toss that into my old techno playlist. So good. Um, that's not the remix version that I was that I was thinking about, but But yeah, the um what was I talking about? I was talking about Kotetsu. Let's uh let me let me show you some of that. We'll just flip through it. I'm I'm sure that it's gotta be like Uh it's the trailer. Sure, we'll watch the trailer. You should be able to identify pretty quickly that like kind of explains a lot. But if I was watching this when I was a kid. There's pr there's definitely some stuff in here I shouldn't have seen. <laughs> How old was I? I must have been like 13, 14. And she's got like her dominatrix outfit. She's fighting in just a towel. And I've never, I've never asked how old that girl is. I don't want to know. I, I truly just, I, I was a kid and she looks pretty damn young, but you know, anyway, <laughs> fun stuff. Anyway, I just wanted to share that. I have I have hung on to this VHS for like almost two decades now. Now I haven't even had a, a VCR in a long, long, long time, so I have I've not actually seen it all the way through, but yeah, there was definitely a lot of risque stuff in there that I probably shouldn't have been watching when I was a kid, but you know, I was back in the day when all the adults in my life were like, it's cartoons. Cartoons are fine. How bad can cartoons be? Turns out cartoons can be, <laughs> Japanese cartoons are kind of, 
Um, <clears throat> but nobody understood that back then. Now we all know what Japanese cartoons are like. Um, so, <clears throat> I believe I have fixed our Final Fantasy 13 problem using window capture instead of game capture. Thank you, Nixlet, for catching, for bringing that up. That, uh, let's see. I'll move it. Um, let's see. Window capture. Window capture on. Okay, there we go. Should probably have display capture be the very bottom layer. Using display capture is always risky. Vosh taught me that. Very important lesson. <clears throat> All right, so... Oh yeah, it's gonna give us a, a thing. <clears throat> With a heavy heart, Saws reveals the fate that has befallen his son, Dodge. When Pult's the sea invaders attack the foul sea, empowering the Yuride Gorge energy plant, it shows the oldest human to become its servant and defender. Closest human. A small boy who had wandered into the facility, now a sanctum Lissy, with the ability to sense the presence of Pulsian energies, Dodge has been held in custody and monitored by the government officials ever since. It is thanks to Dodge's unique ability that Psycom was a bit able to discover the Pulse Falcian Bodum. However, with his exact focus, fuck, this is what prompted Saws to board the purge train, guessing that only means available to him to reach the. It could be carried to the world below. He reasoned he might just be able to save his son, so now that the Pulse Falci is no more, has Dodge gone through the same crystal transformation as Sarah? Or was his focus not to rid the world of the Falci, but if the Lassie servants it created? <laughs> Sound like a fucking crazy person. What does any of that mean? If that is the case, then Saz and his companions must die to spare Dodge a fate worse than death. I'm glad that it does these little breakdowns, because without it... Uh, the game does a very poor job of making clear what the stakes are, <laughs> you know? There's a lot of running around and being like, why, why is anyone doing anything? Huh, a device that makes bad weather. Hmm. <laughs> Come out to play in the rain, did you? Oh, froggies. These spheres modulate precipitation levels in the surrounding area. Certain indigenous fauna exhibit rain-shy behavior, taking cover during storms. However, inducing showers can result in encounters with otherwise elusive hydrophilic wildlife. Okay. Uh, that is useful to me because why? Time to die, frogs. Frogs. They do kind of look like uh, hedgehog pies from Seven. 
with their fat, spiky bodies. I can relate. anything different about the local wildlife when the sun's out yes it was explained to us in the tutorial blobs fuck blobs i don't like blobs it's nicer when it's raining anyway i mean not really doesn't actually matter, like... I have to fight monsters either way, it's not like I'm clearing a path. <clears throat> Courtship dance? No! Don't make it weird, frog. Oh, he just summons more. Uh, oh, that's fine. Took him a long time to fall down. Does look like that puts big boys in my way, though. Definitely need to get the drop on them. Fucking camera, come on. Maybe I can circle around from the other direction. Okay, maybe not. I guess I do want them out of the way. <clears throat> I'm fine with fighting the big lizard thing, but you really need to start that with, uh... Uh, what am I trying to think of? Preemptive strike? Metal armband.
I'm kind of thinking, like... <clears throat> Maybe I should focus on leveling up my accessories, as opposed to leveling up weapons. Because it doesn't seem like we come across enough materials for me to do both. But we get new weapons, like, kind of a lot. Ugh, camera. Um... So... I'm supposed to be scared of this guy? Probably? Maybe? I don't know if I've fought one of these yet. Come here. Good camera. Wyvern. Have I fought a Wyvern? I don't remember. Let's do a Libra. Weak to fire, weak to wind. Okay. He does seem to be pretty tough, so... Not as tough as those dragon things, but... Once he's unstaggered, we'll switch to healing and buffs. Uh, what am I after? Medic. Got lucky. Just in time with that. I appreciate. It. Okay, and then get his synergist. Do I not have a paradigm? Okay, we need to make a paradigm that synergist and heals. Customize. So slash and burn is fine. Dual casting, I don't think we really need that. So medic. Synergist. Symbiosis. Okay. Why is his commando only level one? Did I have him doing something else? Huh, I guess I just can't level him up any further with that.
Huh. Alright. I mean, you don't have any treasure that way. <laughs> I love you, Daffy. Fuck! I keep forgetting to change the thing. <laughs> DJ, so stagger that baddie. That's right. That's the name of the game. We stagger baddies. What up, Soda? Okay, I'm, I'm making a note right now. To change my fucking subscription thing. I hate it. I hate my fucking subscription notification noise. Making a note. Uh, it's, uh, let's see. Set an alarm for three hours. Change subscription notification sound. Wait, hold on, I didn't do it right. Set an alarm for two hours and a half hours. Change subscription, your alarm set for 10.30. Okay, well, it didn't, I'm sure I'll remember. Anyway, how's it going? I've been meaning to fucking change that for like, basically since I made it and I heard it go off for the first time, I'm like, that kind of sucks. Gotcha, Masera. Finally got a day off. Good. Good for you. Hope the family is doing well. You and your cute little family. No treasure over there. Good. Baby Williams, 15 pounds now? Heckin' chonker. Just kidding, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Is that big? For a, a child of... of William's age? I don't, I don't know. It means he's huge for a two-month-old. Hell yeah. Alright, we're in danger. Ninetieth percentile? He's bigger than 90% of babies? I appreciate it. Oh, Jesus Christ, that thing hits hard.
Bam, bam. For his age, he's 24 inches. He's a big un. He's one of the big ones. Well, that's cool. You know what I always say, if, if you're going to have a child, have a large child. Have a lot of child. That's what I say. Stop crunching. Tell him large Marge sent ya. Yo, that, that movie, that, that was a scary movie. That gave me a fucking, I had a hard time with that when I was young. Marge is scary. I think she's nice by the end, right? Or something. But she's pretty scary for a minute. Just remember her laugh. <laughs> Playful ghosts. Yeah, she's the reason I'm afraid of ghosts, probably. It, it was her in Fatal Frame. I should have I should have chosen Margaret as my name. Then people could call me Large Marge. This is so vastly different. No, they're not. They're both terrifying equally. Oh, I thought that was a save point. Fuck. I wasn't paying attention. No, Large Marge and Fatal Frame equally traumatic, in my opinion, to my formative mind. Probably kill that thing first. He's an asshole. Three stars? Oh, come on. I know, I didn't focus the right creature. Did the courtship dance? All right, we're dying. We're dying to frogs. 
fucking sucks. I don't drop much good loot here, if I remember. Yeah, not these, not these little things. Mud frog is what we want to kill first. The next area is much better. Good. I, uh, I never seem to have enough materials. Granted, I was blowing them early on in the game before I understood. It smells fishy and I'm gonna find it. Something smells fishy and I'm gonna find it. Oh, okay, Saws. Gross. My guy. Um, Alright, so new plan. Is, uh... Super material hungry. New plan is we... We start maxing out accessories. I've been focusing on weapons. Uh, yeah, as you can see, the Pearl Wing Staff at level 8. Uh... My bad. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. And I threw some very, uh, very potent materials into that by accident. So now that's level eight and <clears throat> everything else is like level three tops. So we're going to forget about that. <clears throat> and we're going to focus on maxing out accessories. Because... I think that is a more useful way of, uh, that's more useful, maybe. I don't actually know that that's the smart thing to do, but we're gonna, we're gonna try it. At least I know that, like, Iron Bangle and stuff like that can be maxed out pretty easily. <clears throat> So now we have a level 4 power wristband. But the thing is, we have like a lot of accessories. Doctor's code, whatever, it'll work. It, it, here's, okay, here's my thoughts on it. Like, weapons can only be used by certain people, right? So if you devote materials to weapons, you're basically powering up just one character. However, if you were to power up all of the accessories first, accessories can be used by anybody, and therefore, optimization will be more, will be more uh, flexible, and therefore, Uh, yeah, you get it. That's not good. What do we do? All right, I got it. We sneak. It's too much to ask to cut me one break, isn't it? Come and get it. <clears throat> All right. Um. So we're going to start by Focusing on buffs. And now we can switch to damage dealing. Yeah. 
Actually, never mind. She does not have... <clears throat> I thought she had a summon. She does not have a summon available. Over a thousand damage on each of those, that's going well. He's got a lot of health though. I don't love that. What? What is that? Don't do that. Smooth jazz doesn't make for great boss fight music, I must say. Saws is not taking any actions. I need to be aware of that. If all the buffs are already up, he won't actually do anything when he's set to Synergist. Getting there, slowly. Come on, there's the stagger. Probably finish it off with this one. Get in there. Okay, there's that one. Refresh the buffs, heal up, and start on the other one. <clears throat> This is technically a different thing, so I guess I should Libra him, too. No, don't be angry! Ooh, not great. 
Oh, actually... Uh, what do I... this. Come on. Dead now. Oh, I'm not even worried. I am unafraid. How'd I do? Nah. Fuck. Fuck. Crikey! We're in Nautilus. The city of dreams. If only we were dreaming up those clouds. Oh, because there's a storm coming. Okay, I get it. Uh, excuse me. I don't know if it's time to be daydreaming. <laughs> her New Zealand accent always cracks me up. Yeah, it's a weird choice for her and Fang. They make a lot of very interesting decisions in this game. Maybe. The camera's so weird, I can't really look. We can board the ship over there. I mean, we can just touch those orbs and control the weather. I don't know what the big deal is. Why don't they just have those everywhere? When it rains around here, it pours. And then it rains some more. Why wouldn't I? Look at this mess it's gotten us all into. Of course, it's not to say I always hated it. Seemed fishy. All that sanctum ranting about the threat from Pulse. Only a matter of time before they strike. Pulse is infested with monsters. Scare after scare, not even a shred of proof. Tired old cynics like me? Mm -mm. We don't just swallow that tabloid crap. No, no. Yeah, me. he's I me for real. To something crooked. He's just like me. I'm old and I'm angry and everyone is lying. I got dragged in. Yeah. Now that I think about it, all this purge business, it really only happened because Dodge found that Pulse Falsi. 
You're wrong. Huh? Don't blame him. It was all... I don't think that's what he was doing. I don't think he was blaming his son. Yeah, you're right. It was that scum from Pulse behind it. <laughs> I might as well have tried to stop the rain. I fought the tears. But they still fell. You're getting soaked. I'll be fine. It's only water. Wow, that's what a powerful. Would I like to save my progress? Yes, I would like to never do that again. Please. Attention all units. This is Director Roche, Psycom Division. Cocoon is caught in the grip of a pulse-born terror. If we allow the sea activity... The video cuts are always so meh. Yeah, it's, it's very... Uh, well, now we're doing something different. Oh, that thing's sick, though. Will be nothing but a memory. Pulse the sea threaten our very way of life. They must be eliminated. There can be no hesitation. That is all. Here, soldier, take my right, uh, my Raycon earbuds. Use promo code PULTSFALC30 for 30% 30 off Raycon earbuds. We can make it. Get to the station and board the train for Eden. You think it's still running? Well, if it isn't, we'll make it run. Then punch straight into the heart of the Sanctum? Now you're thinking like a pulse will see. Well, this is Operation Nora. It's not just snow. Oh, shut the fuck up. The shut the f you. You're so stupid. Hey, you're the one who said we had to fight. <laughs> Operation <laughs> Nora. <laughs> There's some underground tunnels not far from here. I used to play in them when I was a kid. No one uses the entrance anymore, so even the army doesn't know about it. But I know where it is. We can sneak in under their noses. Sounds good. Great. Here we go. Why is he looking up her skirt? I mean... I, I mean... Wood? Huh. No more rivalries now. Psycom's brought in the Guardian Corps. Okay. There's an old drainage pipe. We can use it to avoid being seen. The tunnel entrance is a little further up. Follow me. Yes, we're fighting. Uh, okay, we need to save first. Don't. Actually, should probably let's go ahead and cancel save operation. Yes, okay. Let us first Crystarium. Okay. Commando up. Smite, deal heavy damage with attack to launched target about to recover from stagger, okay. Learned Quake, love that. Okay. 
Okay, get her Ravager up. Wait, Overwhelm. Boost chain bonus effective attacks for each ally targeting the same enemy. Okay. And now for Child Boy. Yuna is good. It is synergist up. Child boy. <laughs> oh, bar water. Okay, bar water, bar thunder. Yeah, we need all that. Okay, the other thing we're going to do... Optimize for offense. Optimize for defense. Okay. He is. He's a whiny little child boy, and I hate him. The way into the tunnels is over there. Oh, we're gonna sneak. This is just like Metal Gear. Is it this? No. Step and we're goners. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. They're coming. Fuck. Fuck. Ugh, fucking camera, please. Alright. Alright, we're gonna sneak right past them. Quick, this way. They won't even know what happened. Perfect. There should be another drainage pipe. Oh shit. Fuck. We're goners. for the next fight. <laughs> okay. So, nothing bad happened, actually. I suppose that means we can just kind of... We could just fight our way through here if we wanted. Wash your back? I'm not doing that. That is a strange thing for a child boy to ask me to do. Pretty sure I will go to jail. Oh god, camera. Ugh. I don't, I don't know if you can tell from just watching it, but this game controls like shit. It feels terrible. With the camera, the way it automatically swings around everywhere, and the sluggish way the the characters move, and, and it's just... Oh, I like this game, though. It's good. Oh, there was a save point up there. Whatever. Don't worry, it'll be fine. Only kids like me know about that entrance. They'll find it. They'll call in a team and canvas the whole tunnel system. Then we better hurry. Okay, well you're not in there anymore. So, where's this thing come out anyway? Well, it, it. I, I don't really know for sure. We'll find out today. It's still a good game. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's 
There's the save point. All right. What does this thing do? <laughs> it's so weird. They have all these fucking floating platforms and it's just like... Just make a bridge. Why, why wouldn't it just be a bridge? <laughs> With incredible characters like Child Boy, what's not to love? That's true. Child boy. Autistic Australian girl. Black absentee father. That's not me saying weird shit, okay? They've done that twice. They did that shit in Final Fantasy VII and this game, okay? I'm not saying anything that isn't right there. It's a theme, yeah. Uncool. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, mm, babe. I want him to turn around. Turn around, large boy. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't have the... What am I looking for? Syner synergist? Yes. Yeah, these guys are tough. Never mind. <laughs> these ones are not tough. The ones in the forest. The ones in the forest are tough. <laughs> that thing went dead. I was scared too. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, the ones in the area before this. Took me several minutes to to beat. <clears throat> the city's food production falci. So uh, wait, is a falci just a crystal? I thought a falci was like a living thing. So, kill him and cut off the food supply. That'll make us popular. Hi, Nixlet. I think people have enough reason to hate us, don't you? And Carbuncle, yeah, I guess. You're probably right. Hungry people make for angry people. I mean, she just said, kill him, and we starve the the population or whatever, so... <clears throat> I guess it is a person? They're both, actually. They are living machines. Hey. How's it going, Nixlet? <laughs> Wee-woo, wee-woo! Planeter. Wait, why is he re no, stop rescuing him. <laughs> wee woo, wee woo. Flanitor. 
Flaniter. Is your flan in proper working order? Try Flaniter. Ah! Oh, actually, I'm not afraid. I forgot. Well, this one's strong. What the hell? I guess getting the preemptive strike on that first one really fucked him up. Come on, light. Jeez. Good call. Come on, light. Oh yeah, once he's staggered, he's done for. He takes way, way more damage staggered. Whatever you did the first time, do it again. All right, we gotta sneak up on those guys. Floor start! Yeah, definitely you gotta sneak up on them. Look at us, pulseless sea, using a sanctum fallacy to tell where we're going. Sort of strange. Not really. We've relied on them our whole lives. The food we eat, the light, and water. It's all from the Fal Sea. You know, I think Cocoon was really built for them. The rest of us, we're just leeches. Parasites. You think? They protect us. Nurture us. I love lightning. Take care of, well, normal people. They treat us like we're special. Almost like... Like we're pets. Arf? I didn't answer how I'm doing. I'm doing good. I was listening through someone's portfolio. Yeah. To them, we are just pets. That's it. Now it makes sense. And so blind. I was born into a Falsi world, raised on a Falsi leash. It was the only life I knew how to live. Well, now it doesn't sound so bad. When it was taken from me. I was completely lost. Without a master to follow, my life had no purpose. Hope. Listen to me. This Lacide curse, it took everything from me. My future, my dreams. I didn't want to think. So I fought instead. As long as I was fighting, nothing else was real. I was running away. And you, Hope. You got swept along with me. But Lightning, I... don't understand. Operation Nora is over. What? I... No! You told me to fight! I made a mistake! What? You can't do this. You can't just... Build something up like that. She just shoves it him off the platform. I won't abandon you. I thought you were gonna be my new mob. <laughs> Operation Lightning. <laughs> Operation Lightning out. needs therapy. How am I supposed to just forget about all? Wee woo, wee woo. It's 
stop. <laughs> so mechanical yet gooey. He'll survive. Time for Flan B. Oh my god. Fucking. Ugh, fine. The shit I put up with. See, <clears throat> taking time bombs, enemies of Cocoon. If we can't follow the plan, do we just lay down and die? I didn't mean we should give up. Then what battles do we fight? And against who? Tell me that. I don't know yet. You don't know yet? That's right. I don't know yet. But I do know we can't lose hope. Hope? There is no hope. Not for Lassie. There's you. It's my name, not who I am. I was just like Hell. Huh? My parents died. I had to be strong for Sarah, so I thought I needed to forget my past. And I became lightning. I thought that by changing my name, I could change who I was. But a real name? Just a kid. My real name lightning. is Margaret. It flashes bright. They and call me Marge. Away. It can't protect. Large Marge. It only destroys. Sarah tried to tell me. But I wouldn't listen. What? If you really are, let's see. It's my job to deal with you. Typical. What's happening? I threatened her. Come on, Slowpoke. <sighs> Sorry. Got held up. <sighs> Where have you been? This is how Squall changed his name to Leon. The only one who believed her was Snow. Don't say it! Don't say his name. Brings everything back. I keep playing it in my head. What happened to her? And then I see his stupid face and and he's smiling. How can he smile when she's dead? Uh, I know. There's nothing I can do about it. I hate knowing that. No matter what happens, she's not coming back. When I was fighting. There's no time to think about it. <laughs> They're all mental. Yeah, they all have PTSD. But now you, you start talking about hope. Just a whole cast of people who need SSRIs. I'm sorry, I messed up. No. It's my fault. Sammy, you can be my mom now. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. Go.
<laughs> so if it moves on its own, what is activating it? Does it like change the direction that it goes or? Like, should I be going over there? There's probably some other areas I could go to in there, but whatever, stupid. I hate this game and its floating platforms. I hate all the Final Fantasies that do the floating platform thing. Final Fantasy X did it all the time. It's so fucking annoying. What? Why? Fighting without hope is no way to live. <clears throat> if there's two things I hate. Die. Well, if there's one thing I hate about video games, it's fucking elevators. If there's two I things I hate, it's floating to platforms. Find the hope you were named for. Staying alive, I can help you with, but I can't. I can't give you hope if you go to see your father. You think meeting my dad will will make anything better? He's never listened to a word I've said. He's just he'll never believe all this Lissy stuff. I mean, you have a tattoo. <laughs> Be my wife, please. No believe Sarah, didn't he? There was only one area in Chained Echoes that had it, and it was a later area and was meant to be a way of adding to the difficulty. Yeah, it's just artificial difficulty. Confusing you about the way to go and stuff like that? Like, it's a really lame way to make something more difficult. In a recently convened emergency conference, the Sanctum announced that the Fugitive Lassie have been located. Like that one temple in Final Fantasy X? The one... The... The virtual looking one, the all digitized looking one. That's a bitch to navigate. If you fuck it up. These are the sea. Show no mercy. They aren't people. They're targets. Start running. Huh? I'll keep them busy. But you survive. Hell yeah. Some crowd. Gonna need a plan. <laughs> I... Since when have heroes ever needed plans? I am the plan. <laughs> huh? He's the plan B. Again? I don't remember. He's working for somebody. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How do you like my new girlfriend? Your sister sucks now that she's made of rocks. So I got a new one. 
made it like flesh and stuff. Whoa. Take care <coughs> of him. Lightning, listen to me. Get moving. No, no, you don't understand. Sarah's all right. She'll turn back. Take care of Hope. Wait. And then there were three. <laughs> Tom Barry is a mafia boss. I like that. He's all small. He's like, I will make you an offer that you can't refuse. And he just waves his little knife around. On the day of my daughter's wedding. We're just gonna auto gestalt. I don't want to deal with any of this. I mean, this sh this shit is dumb. <laughs> Snow gets the two women that he rides. What's up? Where have you been? I got taken in. Wait, what? Not by enemies. It was the cavalry, not Psycom. Leader's name is Reigns. He said he'd lend us Lucia a hand. So now, your hero is back. Why would the army help us? That doesn't make sense. The military's got all kinds. Not all of them like the Sanctum. Don't worry. I'll handle the bad guys. Come on. Confront him. No. Okay, he's not. Snow has access to the Sentinel roll. Sentinels are defense specials. By drawing enemy attacks and mitigating the damage via defensive abilities, they're able to protect the other members of their battle team. A Sentinel's abilities are essential when it comes to protecting battle team members with low HP like Hope. Draw enemy aggression away from allies with the Provoke ability while defending with Steel Guard to minimize damage to weaker party members. Sentinels cannot use the attack command, but they can still damage enemies. Select the Vendetta ability, and the Sentinel will counterattack enemies when attacked. Sentinels are at their best against numerous opponents when they can use their defensive abilities to shield allies while dealing damage via counterattacks. They become less effective when only a few enemies remain. At that point, it's best to turn Sentinels into commandos in order to finish off remaining enemies more quickly. All right. <coughs> Is that some kind of Lassie power? Uh, okay, so, wait. Holy shit, he has a lot of fucking... Oh, uh, he has a lot of Crystarium, okay. Um, so he should have Commando and Sentinel then, right? Wait a minute, what? 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 Oh my god, why do they make this so fucking weird? So does he have... he has steel guard and stuff already? He starts out with those, okay. Just... Give me a sphere grid. This is just a sphere grid that looks funny. I hate it. Ah. 
Okay, switch to commando. Alright, so he has all of those, and he has all of those. Alright, cool. Ugh. Um. Optimize for offense. Optimize for defense. Okay. Guess we can try and upgrade. What was I working on? The power wristband. We don't want... There's no stuff! Fuck it. <laughs> it's what a snow's aesthetic. He's like a hip-hop pirate from the Matrix. Don't forget, he's got a huge ego also. Your hero has returned. Yeah, he's kind of... <laughs> You're right. Wrapped up and ready. How about this? He changed his coat? I don't remember his coat looking like that. <laughs> Bazooka? Fuck. And he's tough, okay. <laughs> Poor guy. Can't catch a break like, no, you are going to be in the air for the rest of this fight. Thought he was going for more snuggly and rebellious Seifer. Yeah, that's it's just because... He and Seifer are both edgelords with their trench coats. funny to watch him punch them and they just go fucking flying. It's hilarious. It's way funnier than when lightning does it. Okay, there's a lot of enemies, so let's try doing the sentinel thing that it was talking about. Sentinel synergist, maybe. Thanks, Hope. Well, come on. Thanks, partner. Oh, 
I don't see him counterattacking. And I don't think Hope knows any more buffs, so... set up right. I'll double look at it again. You see that? Yeah, kick him right in the ass. Maybe Sentinel doesn't get counterattack until like later. Three stars. <laughs> Abilities. Uh, Sentinel. ATB cost one. He was using Provoke. So he does have it. not in his techniques so I'm not really sure how that's supposed to work what am I doing, am I doing? you're whining is what you're doing stop whining I like Snow just walking up behind someone and punching them in the back of the head. Operation Nora was canceled. You dummy. Oh god. Where do I go? Let's go up. All right. Switching to Sentinel Synergist. Abilities. Thanks, partner. Thanks, Hope. Ooh. 
Okay, where's the part? There it is. Okay, so he will do it. He just, uh, it doesn't get put into... It's not showing up in the auto chain. Launch killed him. <laughs> so he just flies away into nothingness. Alright, I like snow. Just watching him punch people is really funny. I don't know why. Just too easy. Not great. <laughs> How my spleen? You obtain a paladin? Is that like an equipment for him? Yes. Improved guard. Uh, but it is worse than what we're using, so... Kill the warlord first. He's pretty strong, maybe. I should not be killing him first. Uh, but he is staggered right now, so we're gonna keep hitting him. His heels suck so bad. Hope's getting hit, that poor boy. Listen, he needs to toughen up. I don't need any piss babies on my team. Yeah, I think I kind of fucked this one up. he can't be on your team why are you you little piss baby Thanks, little piss pants piss baby 
I cry so much. Same. I mean, don't be a little piss baby. I would never be a little piss baby. Little piss pants, piss baby. Leave child boy alone. I'm gonna I'm one star this so hard. Fuck. No problem. Four star, okay. He's just a child, boy. Four lengths of insulated cabling. I think we're almost there. Changed, haven't you? Seems like you've toughened up. I'm a lessee. I had to. <laughs> yeah, the only ones that ought to be fighting the army are us dumb grown ups. You're not the piss baby I thought you were. <laughs> it is if you get killed. He's <laughs> talking about your mom. He called your mom stupid. Anyway, Come on! Just lay low. Let the dummies duke it out. <laughs> He's calling your dead mom stupid. Come on. You have the knife. Stab him in the belly. He was... He was smiling. Yeah, here we go. Get him. Right in his spine. Come on, paralyze him. It's me. What's up? Oh, why do we have cell phones like that? You called in. Sorry, slipped my mind. Ugh, right. What's your status? Great, great. Hope's great too. Uh, are you all right? I'm great. You're great. Everybody's great. Reunion time. What? Uh. Figure out a rendezvous point. Don't sweat it. That line's hyper encrypted. Uh. Oh, hyper encrypted. Hey, sis. Is that you? Ew. Not your sister. Don't call her that. <laughs> Stop being weird. This city's under our jurisdiction. We're the ones defending it. We should have a say in what's done to protect it. Attention all units. <laughs> Extremely all insensitive. Restrictions. Fire at will. <laughs> <laughs> it takes to Over. Whatever it takes. You want to start a war in the streets? Civilians are still evacuating. The collateral we're talking about is unacceptable. You don't know what it's like out there. You don't understand why we're here. Who do you think it is? Terrified of Pulse and begging us to kill them and see. It's not the sanctum. Huh? It's not us. It's the people. Can we turn down the orchestra, please? We'll meet at Hope's place. Felix Heights, 35A. Right. See you there. Tell Fang hey. Hmm? Take care of Hope. All over it. <laughs> and I'll tell you more about Sarah when we meet up. I found out she can turn back. There's still hope. Snow. Listen to me. It's about Hope. His mother Lightning. was... It's me. I'm not... I'm not... I'm not... Hope? Hope! 
answer me! Uh -huh. Hope! Yelling doesn't fix it. It's called interference. Uh. You can chit chat when we get there. I've got point. You fall in behind. And see if you can't cool off that head of yours. Say if you can't cool off that head of yours. Hell yeah, we finally get to play as Fang. Fang's cool. Yay, we get to play as Fang. Next time. Gotta end a little bit early. It's, uh... My sister's here visiting. She's in the room above, above me, so... So yeah, that'll do it for today, sadly. <laughs> we will come back to Final Fantasy 13 Sunday night. Hope you all have a good weekend. Thanks for hanging out. Big Preach. And, uh, thank you I will talk to you later have a good night